All right, guys. <clears throat> well, as you can see, I've started to clean up my Widowmaker out here. But uh, if any of you that saw my video on uh, my last update on Sandy, I think, saw all this. Uh, today was a pretty nice day today, so I thought I'd come out and go ahead and start to clean it up. And uh, then I had to run in and grab my camera because I think I've stumbled onto something here, guys. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I got uh, a little stack of wood here. And let me show you something here. I'll put this on macro for a moment. And I don't know if you guys can see how sappy that is. And it's fairly heavy. Uh, and it smells like turpentine. Get this on macro here so I can see if it shows. There we go. Now maybe you can see it. Uh, all these little stumps that were sticking out on here. I've got quite a few of them. And uh, quite a lot of them are sappy. And they smell like turpentine. Uh, for those of you who are old enough to remember what turpentine smells like. Anyway, I'll put this back out again. Uh, I've got a few more stumps sticking out there and I'm guessing that I stumbled on the fat wood here. Oh, one more thing. I thought this tree was long dead, but evidently, let me put this on macro again. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me get shadow it a little bit. This is like a big gob of uh, pine resin. In fact, I don't know if you can see it there or not, but uh, Get a little sunlight on it. Yeah, you can't really see it that good. This is definitely not doing it justice. But, oh, there it is. There you can see it. See how wet that still looks? And it's... It, it doesn't look... It's not wet. It's just solid. It's almost like, uh... Like amber or something, so... Anyway, I just had to do this little update here. I'm going to cut some of these sticks up and uh, see if... Uh, there's a pretty good size one there. Uh, I'm going to cut some of those up and see if they act like fat wood. I've been looking for fat wood for years and I never could find any in the wild. I've looked out there, but uh, I haven't been able to find any pines that weren't just all, you know all pethy and, and, and dried up. So, I don't know guys. <laughs> I can't wait to get down to the bottom of this thing because, oh, well, I don't know if you can see that or not. That feels pretty hard where I thought it was rotten. And I'm guessing maybe, maybe down in the bottom once I get this stump dug out of here, there may actually be be more fat wood down in there. So, we're going to hope, guys. <laughs> uh, I really hope so, because I've always wanted to try some of that fat wood. I've seen other guys do videos on it, and uh, I always thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to finish cleaning this mess up here, and uh, we'll see... Uh, what that stack reveals there. I don't know how deep into these uh, stumps that goes, but I do know one thing. It's heavy. The stump is really heavy on, on this end. And uh, kind of light. And uh, you can see it doesn't go out that far. So I'm kind of interested to find out how deep and how far that, that goes down in there. So anyway, guys, I'll do a follow-up video and uh, let you know. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> find something by accident that I've been looking for for years. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching.